Evergreen Limes, it was a way, a way for me to get a job um, because nobody likes to employ someone in a wheelchair. Um, this way I become my own boss. I've got my family. Uh, it was a way to provide my daughter and my son-in-law a house uh, since they just had a child and so it's our first grandchild. Just had a baby, um, so it's great being able to work from home and, and help out the family um, and fitting into the future. As Dad had said, it's you know it is for us in the future as well. So it gives her something to be able to either grow up in and, and decide to do, or it gives her, I guess, financial security as well. Uh, they get shipped locally at the moment, and we've just started shipping to Brisbane. My daughter is looking into producing other things with the limes because we do throw out a few um, so why not try and use the entire product they're, they're a natural anti antioxidant they're a natural antibacterial it can be used in cleaning products they you know they're good for you so you know, I say to people eat a lime a day back in May 1999 um, I was working in an underground coal mine and I hopped inside a machine to, to look at it to fix it and another bloke from the mine started it up, went to turn it off, turned the wrong switch, and yeah, I walked in at six foot one and got carried out at four foot seven. So, and I lost two legs. Yeah, trying to find work for a 50 year old man in a wheelchair, it's like you, you might as well paint yourself with, with invisible paint. Uh, people don't see you, all they see is a wheelchair and oh, you're gonna be a liability, you, you can't do anything. And I went, well, maybe it's time to show people what someone in a wheelchair can do. 